Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about booting your Raspberry Pi from a USB device and why that's probably not the way I'm going to go. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so over the last uh, several weeks, I have received a truckload of email uh, asking me if I was going to do a video on how to boot the Raspberry Pi from a USB device. And I may still do that particular video, but I don't think that's going to be the way I'm going to end up running my system. It just doesn't really fit into my current setup. So why would you want to run uh, or, or boot your Pi from a USB device? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. Uh, primarily, it's probably going to be speed. And the guys that I've talked to that have tried this out, uh, and they have had some, uh, some success, by the way, with Build-A-Pi, those guys swear that this is quite a bit faster. Now, what's quite a bit faster? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen any hard numbers on this, and I have yet to test this. So I don't know what quite a bit faster is. The other reason that uh, guys want to move to this system is they're afraid of an SD card, the micro SD card, becoming corrupted. So those are probably the two reasons I hear most often about why guys would want to move to booting from a USB solid state device. Now, let's talk about uh, the potential for a SD card becoming corrupt. Yes, that possibility does exist. However, I don't think, well, at least I don't recall ever losing a micro SD card due to corruption. And I run micro SD cards both in my day job and I run them in the Raspberry Pi. Now, I am guilty uh, on most of my Pis from swapping those SD cards out on a pretty regular basis as I'm testing uh, this or that. So uh, that might be why I've had a bit more luck in getting uh, long life out of my SD cards. But I do have a couple of systems uh, Raspberry Pi systems in place. One is a PBX server. It's been online for about three years, if I remember right. And my web server has been online for about five years. Both of those are still running on the original SD cards. They run 24 seven. They never get shut down. In fact, the web server has been online for 550 days or so and hasn't even been rebooted. So personally, I haven't experienced uh, an SD card getting corrupted or just failing on me. Now, could that happen? Absolutely. And it's probably going to happen at the most inopportune time. That's why I always stress backups uh, to everybody that plays with these Raspberry Pis. Sooner or later, you're either going to mess something up, uh, mess up a configuration to the point that you can't recover, or something's just going to go wrong. Typically, we're trying to install something new or we're trying to uh, reconfigure something or, or whatnot, and we end up messing the system up. And really, the card doesn't fail, but we just need a good backup to fall back to. So, uh, as far as SD cards going bad, that really doesn't play into uh, the decision making as far as I'm concerned. What concerns me more is being able to have solid backups. Now, we've only got four USB ports on the back of the Raspberry Pi, and currently all four of mine are taken up. Now, I don't want to add a USB hub because now we introduce the possibility uh, for extra points of failure. Uh, we can have some configuration problems trying to add USB hubs, uh, things of that nature. So I really don't want to, uh, well, I'm not going to add a USB hub to the mix. It's one more piece of gear I gotta keep up with. It's an extra wire I uh, may have to keep up with. 
and it's an extra uh, potential failure point. So not something I want to do. So in the four USB ports on the back of the Raspberry Pi currently, I have uh, the sound card is taking up one of those. The cat cable uh, to the 891 is taking up one of those. The GPS is taking up a third one of those. And in the fourth one is, uh, is the port that I keep an external thumb drive. Now it's one of the little micro US or micro SD card rather to USB adapters. So I keep a micro SD card in there and plug it into that fourth port. And that gives me the ability to back up the Pi on a uh, daily basis. So every day, I think it's at 4.35 a.m., the Pi goes and a script gets run automatically. It backs up my entire home folder over to the external thumb drive. For me personally, this is critical because if I've spent the entire day uh, writing scripts or modifying scripts or something along those lines, some sort of programming, I want that information backed up at a minimum on a daily basis. Now, I may also back them up uh, every hour or so if I'm really coding hard. But at a minimum, I want that data backed up every day. In addition to that, I back up my micro SD card once a week to once a month. It really depends on how I'm using the Pi. If I'm going to be trying to do something new that I haven't done before, maybe install some app that I haven't installed before, then I'm going to back up the Pi by making an entire image of the micro SD card before I start uh, trying to mess with some sort of new something on the Raspberry Pi. That way, should something go wrong, I can fall back to my backup. Now, let's say that uh, whatever I'm trying to install works, it's up and running well. Well, after I've run with it for, uh, you know, two or three days, maybe a week, depending on what it is, then I'll go ahead and make a new backup uh, of my entire SD card. In between these backups, though, I'm getting that daily backup to the external thumb drive. So, I don't want to add the USB hub, so the only option I would have would be to give up my uh, external thumb drive in order to boot from that USB, uh, or use that USB port to boot from, rather. I just don't want to go that route. The, the daily backup is more important to me than maybe gaining a little bit of speed. So, I don't want to lose that daily backup uh, capability. And I'm really not worried about an SD card becoming corrupt. Now, you do need to do a few things uh, in order to extend the, the life of your micro SD card. Maybe move your log files to uh, a, a RAM space so that you're not writing direct to the SD card as often. Probably more important than that is make sure you shut down your Raspberry Pi correctly each and every time. Don't just yank the power cord out of the Pi. Uh, you will have a good possibility of corrupting that SD card if you do that. Uh, so if you've, got, uh, if you've installed a push button for shutdown on your Pi, push the button, give it a couple of seconds, and uh, let it shut down properly, and then remove the power cable. Personally, I don't even mess with those, uh, with those buttons. I simply use the Pi menu and come down and shut it down that way. Whichever way you want to do, it doesn't really matter. Just go through a proper shutdown. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong if you want to boot your Pi from a USB solid state device. So I'm not saying that it's a bad idea. So save the darts and the hate mail. Uh, I'll mess something up next time and you guys can go ahead and send it then. But I'm, I'm not indicating that uh, or suggesting that it's a bad idea to boot from a USB device. I'm simply saying it doesn't fit well into my current setup. So I'm going to hold off. I may do a video on how to do it. I may try to run build a using an external uh, USB SSD device 
but I'm probably not going to run it that way in the field. Uh, I, I just don't see uh, enough advantage to lose my daily backup. Uh, and unless I want to add a, uh, a hub, a USB hub, then I'm going to lose that, uh, that capability. So for now, I'm going to hold off and probably not go that route. Now, I do reserve the right to change my mind. But guys, you got to decide what works for you and the way you want to operate your radio, your Raspberry Pi. If it's an advantage to you to be able to boot a little bit quicker and maybe uh, an application like JSA Call loads a couple of seconds faster, by all means, go ahead and get everything moved over and start booting from the USB device. All I'm saying is it doesn't fit into my setup. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.